of you hey, maybe whatever i'll select it is wrong uh, whatever some of you whatever they have selected it is right i will not talk about means ex uh, exponential way way of thinking i am talking only probability definitely it's 25% all options are likely to be correct okay then now if you without knowing any answer just you attempt without eliminating any option just select any of the options you even small kid a b c d if they select definitely turn will be right means how much marks you will get 24 marks actually what is your cut off 36 marks what is your cut off 36 marks how much you got 24. Most of the time after exam, uh, they are claiming, hey, I got 30 marks, only 6 marks I missed. Actually, they, they got 30 minus 24, 6 marks only. Are you getting my point? Most of the time, we will claim, hey, after exam, hey, I missed only 2 marks. Cut up. Means what is the cut up? 36. What is the probability? 24. 24 means 34 tall marks. Means only 6 questions are right according to them. Actually. Okay, so what I am trying to explain, your cutoff is 36, without eliminating any option, if you answer, you will get a 24, even if you are selected only one line, either C, R, D, R, A or B, but most of the time likely to be B and C are right, if you select like that only, if you want to try, you are in the first tier, you may try. Okay, yeah. If you select, if you want to select, I will take one exam. I will select how much marks I will get. Okay, you try to select the BRC. Okay, okay. Leave it. Now, if you eliminate one option, means what? Thirty-three percent likely to be correct. Means what? Eighteen marks. What is your cutoff? Thirty-six. What is your cutoff? Thirty-six. If you eliminate all fifty percent, one options and answer. How much marks you got? 36. This is exact your cutoff. Okay. If you eliminate two options, definitely only in first step you are clearing the cutoff. Second step you should be in the list. It's not if you clear all three cutoffs, doesn't mean that you are qualified. Okay. So second step you, you should be in the list. That's why right. try to eliminate two options using your pre-existing knowledge you are studied last three year or if it is a bca last five year six year uh, computer science just use some basic knowledge try to eliminate now think about right answer try to eliminate one option answer it if by practice you can do it in your home uh, regular in, in, apply these methods in your room and practice it then come to the conclusion. You have select only C and what is the probability and uh, select only some randomly what is the probability. Okay. But, but pre-existing knowledge is very important because we have studied last 21-23 years. Use our common sense. Try to eliminate one or two options. Okay. Next. Go for. If you eliminate three options, definitely 100% it is correct. So, uh, definitely you are in the top. No need of, if you all 50 questions, you don't know the answer. If you, if you know how to eliminate three options. Try to eliminate all three options, definitely you are in the top list. Because all 100 questions are right. Just we are talking about the assumptions. Okay. Don't be more stick on assumptions. Are you looking at so very nice. Why we are studying three year MCA? <laughs> okay, we'll go directly and write exam. Okay. Just this, but this is proved probabilistically works with mathematical its work okay we are not talking any uh, illegal uh, things okay now means use your whatever knowledge computer knowledge try to eliminate one or two options okay without blindly don't eliminate hey, it is not there see okay like don't eliminate like that now use now computer science most of you don't know what is, uh, i think first year uh, Still, you have not studied this one. So, can you eliminate? Use this one for, uh, I think, at least four semesters. Try to eliminate. Try to find out find the answer. At least tell me this is not answer. Big sort is best. Huh? Big sort is best. 
we use the uh, fourth semester, you can answer directly. I am telling you, at least try to eliminate one option. At, huh, which one? Binary search. First year, at least first year. Binary search is not an answer because it has different time complexities. Okay, because all three are different time complexities. Okay, you know at least. In first year, you can eliminate one option. Then, obviously, in three, out of three, you can select. But in out of three, and C and D, you don't know anything about C and D. Quick sort and uh, Fibonacci series, uh, Fibonacci search or Fibonacci series is very difficult. You don't know anything. What is time complexity? What is space and all? It is a technique. Leave it. You don't know anything. Or at least you know. Uh, yeah, so many times you have written maximum of n numbers. Okay. You know that. Just you try out a simple. For example, this is a sequence. This is 25. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh. In this. Finding maximum of n number, what is the time? <coughs> Find maximum number in this list. What is the time? How much time it will take? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 minutes of time. Okay. Even though first element is maximum. Even though first element is maximum. But now you write 25 here. Make it this one. How much time it will take? Same time. Even though means maximum element is last. But if it is 25 here, same time, then without knowing. Sir, if it is a break statement, it will be not explain. Actually, uh, what I am trying to explain here. Don't go for theoretical, it is break, if I write like this, if it is compiler work like that, if it is Linux compiler. If what I am trying to explain is that you can eliminate using just common sense. Don't know. Even though you are in the first semester, you don't know what is the time complexity. Try to eliminate them. That is my intention. I am not telling you, hey, you, you use exact theory, use exact rules and regulations. Are you getting my point? So, out of 50, at least you know binary search. Obviously, it's a difference. Try to eliminate. Likely to be 33 percent. Means it's a good thing. Now, Fibonacci series and quick sort is very difficult to answer. So leave it. Take you know maximum of n number series. This is last in December 2006. I have not created this question. They actually, their intention is to check your common sense. They don't want exact complete theory in your mind. So no one perfect. That's why I am telling you. No one perfect in this world. Actually, Gordon's incompleteness theorem, it is mathematically it is proved. Everything in this world is it is half true. Gordon's incompleteness theorem. But half truth we are considered as a full truth and we are moving. Just okay, think of it if you want to read this book. Okay? Gordon's incompleteness theorem. You can Google it. Okay? Means so whatever exists. Now Try to answer your, try to use your common sense, try to eliminate as many. Is it okay? Okay. Now we go for another question. Is it okay? At least. Huh? But uh, uh, here I need to explain some because we are computer science. Uh, anyhow, you need to know what is exactly our uh, theory and all. Here, binary search, you know, best case is key element found in the middle position, and uh, if it is, then it will take log n or 2 log n or log n in a tough times. Okay, how will we will find it theoretically? Limited. Now, maximum finding maximum n number in the list definitely it will take same time. Next, quick sort. This is the beauty of uh, uh, algorithms actually. Uh, while studying it's a quick sort, only most of the time this question is asked in all computer exams, including gate. Uh, sorting what is the object of sorting algorithms? Sort it an ascending or descending order. Okay. For example, if your input itself is ascending or if your input itself is descending, your sorting algorithm should take less time because already it's sorted. Are you getting my point? For example, your all algorithm objective is to make it sort an ascending order. But your input itself is ascending, then obviously its time is less. It should take less time actually. But quick sort takes more time if it is sorted out. That is the drawback for quick sort. 
Okay. Next one on uh, one more is Fibonacci series. It is you study Fibonacci search. You study next one. I think you have studied Fibonacci.